everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're having a fantastic day i'm still at work here because i'm delivering a car behind me is my 2016 corvette but look here there's another 216 corvette long beach red wait is that mine or is that mine wait let's see if it's oh wait it's got manual transmission as well. I'm getting ready to deliver that to Murphy down in Alabama. He's literally finishing his paperwork right now, so I gotta get off here Mr. and start Mike, heading. Ford, See? You have a guest waiting in the showroom, Mike. He's done. I'm gonna go get him his car, get him out of here, and then I'm headed to Bowling Green and we're gonna have some fun with C8 Corvettes today. All right, there he goes. I'm gonna go do a quick change, hop on that, head down to Bowling Green, Kentucky. 90 minutes that way. Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of the only Corvette plant in the country since 1981. Yes, 38 years here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. They have producing Corvettes right back here in this factory. Also, the National Corvette Museum for the last 25 years. This weekend is the 25th birthday of the National Corvette Museum. I'm super excited to be down here and really just kind of show you what's going on maybe we'll mob the car i don't know there's some vendors over here and of course not to mention we've got a ton of ch check out that new ch shirt that i got there let's go check it out hey so i'm sitting here finishing up this video and this guy who's taller than me which is very rare that people are taller than me comes up that what's guy going on, what's your name byron glover byron drive 615 right Drive 615 and that's my boy stayed at the house last night yes clarence he gonna speak 252 from yeah. the shirt right yeah, there that thing. hey check these guys out so strad man got me six thousand subs can you can i do something for these Woo! guys yes we appreciate it down in the description below all right so behind me here we have all three trim levels we have a one lt black one we have a two lt silver one and we have two three lts over here silver and towards red so i'm going to show you around several of them there's this one over here that's got a really cool feature that i love on it it's got a great color combination we're going to show you that i'm going to show you uh cars with and without the engine appearance package i'm going to sit here and i'm going to try to attempt to lift up one of the carbon fiber tops because you guys have asked is it still carbon fiber is it still way the same i think i can get that answered in this video and probably a whole lot more the very first car this is a sheer silver metallic 3lt wait till you see the interior of this car wow this is why i came to this car first when these people got out of the way we're gonna hop in there and show you but uh this car does have the carbon fiber appearance package for the engine and if you look right up there those are the lights you get with the carbon fiber engine appearance package. This one has the top stowed into the trunk. Black, to see how big it is. Look under there, there is a little bit of storage still under there that you can to see how get stuff in there. Not a whole lot, but you can still get a little stuff in there. Detail supplies, camera supplies, backpack. All right, get in there, I kicked these old people out of my way. I'm getting in this car. <laughs> No, I'm gonna I'm gonna come in here and just kind of oh, show a little of everything. I will let you guys take my picture though, real quick. All right, so tension blue interior, 3LT. Let's see the seats. These are the GT2 seats. Oh, wow. bottom steering wheel. Let's hop in there and test it out. All right, here it is, sitting inside the car for the first time with the tension blue interior. I showed you this last time that I got to be with a C8. The cup holder is absolutely awesome and for the first time touching these really really awesome really unique oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really really unique i like that park manual mode change the mode there this is the ride height there traction control turn on the front cameras right there and then a little bit closer view of all the buttons you got the temperature controls there i would assume that's for the driver heated ventilated seats sink automatic climate control where you want it to go the fan speed total off ac button recirculate max front max rear passenger again i would assume heated ventilated seats and their temperature control now this right here and this right here is going to light up to the uh, temperature control so what's really cool is we got a physical home button right here and then the built-in volume knob into the radio really really interesting there and then coming back here we got heated steering wheel voice recognition 
dials for their the Z mode. I haven't talked about Z mode. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. And then cruise control and then paddles. Nice big paddles right here. It's gonna be difficult to see, but what's really unique is when you sit in here, you can see the entire screen through the steering wheel. So I can move this up and down to my visual, but see everything. And then of course, heads up display up there. And then we have the blue center line right there to the uh, passenger side. Something new is you got the memory seats for the passenger side there. There's your lock and unlock button, emergency handle down there. Nice floorboard. I'm gonna go over and sit over there and see what it's like and kind of give you an idea of the difference between a C7 and a C8 from the passenger side. All right, here Not is the, the 3LT saw. interior of the tension blue top. Absolutely beautiful thing. All right, so let's get into this passenger seat. And I can tell you right off the bat that this passenger seat is much more roomier than the C7. Let's shut this door. Oh yeah. You know, I do a lot of test drives in these cars. And uh, when I'm on the passenger side, cramped. Open the glove box. Nope, can't open the glove box, it's locked up. Open up. Maybe if I keep hitting it, it'll open up. Open, there we go. So there's the glove box. It's a really big size glove box that we have there. So it is much bigger than I think the C7 because the owner's manual, the C7 barely fits in there and you can't put anything else in there. Like if I put my customer's paperwork in there or anything like that, but uh, looks like a big size. You got the funnel in there, you got the XM radio, some of the other stuff. And one of the really cool things that they've done with this car is they put wireless charging in here. Now the wireless charging is way back here. So it does fit back there pretty well. It's an iPhone XR, but uh, out of the way for sure, as you're not supposed to be texting and driving or having your phone in your hand while you're driving, but uh, it also will fit right in that cup holder just fine like I do now. We're gonna move over to the red one. I'm gonna show you all of this trunk space. Look at that. Lots and lots of trunk space in this car. So they say you can get two sets of golf clubs in here. I don't think that is uh, going to be any issue. But one thing that I do see, this is all plastic. This all can come out. So that is gonna be a perfect area for some twin turbos. The silver one over there had the top of it off. This one's got it on. Obviously with the top off, I fit absolutely perfect. I know I talk about it a lot of time, but uh, I'm six foot three. So we're gonna hop in here. We're gonna see what it's like. Not a problem. If you look up here, I've got plenty of room, that much room between the top of my head. A lot of room for him too. I can't remember if the silver one had carbon fiber or not, so I'm gonna point out the carbon fiber trim in this. You got around the window switches here. Watch out. And then this is the carbon fiber around the bezel of the driver information center, speedometer, all that stuff. You can see all that carbon fiber in there as it focuses. It's tough to focus in on it, but there you go. That's all your carbon fiber right there. I don't think anybody has shown you the sill plates of the C8 Stingray. So you look in there, really, really nice sill plate. I'm sure there's gonna be some options out there that you can change these out. They currently don't have any in the interim accessory booklet that's out and available, which is on chevydude.com under the blog section, but really cool C8 sill plate that says Stingray right there. Let's move up here to the front trunk, the frunk as you will call it. And uh, not something I was able to show you the last time I was with a C8 as I'm trying to mess around with the sun and all that stuff. But uh, you do have a uh, power outlet up here. So this is where your battery protection package is gonna be. Uh, so you're gonna plug that in right there. And then that is a emergency release in case you get stuck in here. Um, in that case, if you're probably in there, you probably need to do exactly what that stick figure guy does, get out and run. There's a light right here as well. And then uh, the battery protection package is up here, like I mentioned, which is completely different from the C7 that was in the back because the battery is actually right here. There's only two fluids that you have on the C8 up front, one being the brake fluid and one being the windshield wiper fluid. We're gonna move back to the silver one because as I was walking around, I looked at the calipers of the red one over there and I realized that these calipers, I looked at them, they're black, 
uh, did not say Z51 on there. So this is not a Z51 car, which shows you that it does not have the Z51 spoiler on it. So this is what it looks like without the spoiler on there. And you can look right there what it looks like as well. Now with the Z51 spoiler, I want to show you a little bit up close of the spoiler on that car. And uh, sorry about the light, we're inside the shade. But you can see there that that's a pretty nice size high wing, kind of high wing spoiler, but not very, very low, like the current Z51 style is. So much more aggressive. You can see the plane in here as well. But uh, you can see the big difference between a Z51 car and a non Z51 car. This is what the engine bay will look like without the carbon fiber engine appearance package. So we have no light up there. As you can see, he just closed the door. There's no lights. So that is an option. And then coming down here, we just have the black metal rails down here as well. And that carbon fiber comes over here, closes all of that off and gives some uh, little like exhaust brakes out of there, heat dissipation, all that stuff. So you can see a big difference between the carbon fiber engine cover appearance package there compared to not having it over here. Big difference between that. All right, so I've had a lot of people ask me this question and I might get in trouble here, but I'm gonna yank this out to kind of tell you that it weighs probably the same as the C7. So it's still carbon fiber, uh, no difference there, but I would say the weight is about 16 pounds just like the C7. Really, really simple to go into. Like that was the first time doing it. I didn't do it before camera. That was the first time, simple, simple to go in. I would say probably a little simpler than uh, the C7, actually, and I'm gonna do this again. Out, in, put it in there, lock it in. That's simple. All right, hopping into the 1LT. I'll show you up front that right down here is where you have the frunk and the trunk uh, release buttons. And then this is the standard Bose system along with the GT1 seats that come standard in this car. And the really cool thing that I do like about this is this car has been getting in and out quite a bit. You can see those side bolsters are not beat up in this GT1 seat. So that's good uh, if you're a type of person that does it. But as you know, I've got a video on how to sit in these seats. And if you watch that video, you'll never have to worry about messing those seats up anyways. This is kind of beat up right here a little bit, but nothing, nothing too bad. And you'll see the steering wheel later on a 2LT, but if you look, uh, we do have the buttons over here for the voice recognition, the phone, the wheel, the Z mode, standard on all three trim levels, cruise control, favorites, volume, up and down right there. And then right there is your awesome radio and driver information center speedometer up there. And then this one has the standard black right there. Again, tough to see since I'm in this shade. I'm gonna try to lighten it up here a little bit so that you can see it. You can see it right there. All right, we're gonna come over to this silver one. This is a 2LT, a little less congested over here. You'll see right away the door differences. We got the upgraded Bose system in this. We have memory seats for the driver, all the same controls down here, but we do have one additional control on this that I'm gonna show you, because if you look right there in the mirror, we do have blind spot indicator. Again, tough to see since I'm in the shade. I'll try to lighten this up a little bit, but uh, yeah, you can see it right there. Blind spot indicator right there. And if I hit this button right here, whoop, there goes the mirrors. This is something we've needed in this Corvette for a long time. In and out, in and out. Very nice. This car has got the GT2 seats in it. Uh, cool gray, blue seat belts, two-tone seat, black interior. When you come to the 2LT, you get a whole lot of options that become standard. And one of those are the advanced security system. So that button is right here. You can turn this off and turn that on right there. So basically what that does, uh, somebody reaches in your car, the alarm goes off. You jack the car up to try to steal the wheels, it goes off. They jack up the car to take it on a tow truck, it goes off. Same as what the C7 has 
currently right now. You can kind of see this cool gray interior. So one thing I've talked about in past videos is the engine noise. Now I've driven a lot of high performance cars, Lamborghini Huracan, uh, Ferraris, you know, all this stuff. And one of the big things that uh, uh, I dislike about those cars is the fact that you can hear the engine. And with a direct injection engine, it actually has a lot of ticking from the high pressure fuel rail system and it puts that noise right behind your head. Now one thing Chevrolet has done is actually made this glass right here nine millimeters thick. So one thing I hadn't been able to do yet besides drive a car is touch this glass. This thing is solid. I don't know if you can hear that with all the noise. Okay. Now let's listen to this glass. Big difference in sounds and a huge difference for noise canceling in your cabin up there. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, all home now, uh, done editing that video, and I did not do an outro. So I just wanted to say that I think this is probably the most detail-oriented, intense video on all three trim levels on the internet. Very detail-oriented. I hope it helps you and you learn a lot if you were not able to come to the caravan uh, or maybe if you did go to the caravan and you were like, I didn't know what this was, I didn't know what that was. Maybe you didn't see something that I see that I'm really intuitive of seeing stuff. This helps you out. So uh, make sure you share this video with everybody you can. Make sure you put it in Facebook. Make sure you put it in the forums, all that good stuff. And as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button if this is the first time that you're watching the video or if you have not subscribed yet. Turn the bell notifications all the way on and leave a thumbs up. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and drive safely.